best way to tell someone you love them is by cooking them a dish. And this scallop carbonara is super simple to make. This is a sure shot way to impress your spouse. Okay guys, so the first thing that we wanna do is sear our scallops. We're not gonna cook it fully all the way through. I have a pan preheating on a high heat and I'm gonna be using grapeseed oil and a little bit of butter to baste these scallops. Once you put your scallops down in the pan, you do not want to touch them. You want them to develop a nice crust. This is a great opportunity to season the other side. See that crust? That's the action. This, this is the magic right here, okay? That's what we want. So the scallops have been cooking for a couple minutes. It's still nice and raw on the other side, still nice and raw in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. I'm gonna leave them for 20 or 30 seconds before I add in some butter. And at that point, we're gonna start basting with our unsalted butter. I'm gonna reduce my heat slightly. I do not want this butter to burn. This looks sexy. Nice brown butter foam going over all my scallops. Right on the inside, I could tell they're nice and soft. I just give it a little touch and it's very, very, very jelly-like almost. I'm gonna remove these to a small tray lined with parchment paper so that they don't overcook anymore. And I'm just gonna kiss each scallop with this brown butter. This is what gets me excited and this is why I cook from moments like this, I'm not gonna lie. I wish that was a ringtone because that's the best sound I've ever heard in my life. We're gonna get the rest of our dish prepped out. At the last second, we're gonna flash these in the oven just to reheat them and they'll be perfect on the inside. Today we're using pancetta, which is Italian bacon. If you can't find pancetta or guanciale, go ahead, use bacon, that's fine. I have a pan, which is on low medium heat. You wanna be able to render out as much fat as possible from this pancetta. Okay guys, as our pancetta is slowly rendering out the fat, we have a pot of boiling water here at a gentle boil. We're gonna go ahead and add in our linguine. You do not wanna cook this all the way through. You do not even wanna cook it to al dente, just underneath, because it's gonna continue cooking in the pan quickly. Okay guys, so I got my linguine down, and this is the fun part. This is the sexy part of making this dish. This is the egg mixture, which gives us that creaminess. The most important ingredient in this carbonara is going to be the black pepper. I'm just gonna move it to the end of my board and use the bottom, the back of my knife to crack it. And then I just give it one quick chop through. The essence of this dish, I feel, lies in the black pepper. If you make a carbonara, it has to have a lot of black pepper. I have my egg yolks here, four egg yolks, and I'm gonna add in a lot of cheese. And as you can see, the cheese has really tightened it up. I can smell the Parmesan. I can smell that fresh cracked black peppercorn. And of course, you have that egg yolk. This is where all the magic lies, right here. This is, this is food porn. This is food porn right here. You see that? So, first thing I'm gonna do, scallops in the oven, 375, just two minutes. Just wanna get them reheated through. So guys, our linguine is just under al dente. It's now time to add it into our pan with the pancetta. And as you can see, the pancetta is bountiful. You never wanna be digging for pieces in your carbonara. We're also gonna add in a ladle of stock that's infused with starch from the pasta. This is in turn going to thicken our sauce. It's now time to remove this from the stove and finish this dish. Okay, so guys, this is perfect. We have our pasta water in there as well. The pasta water is too runny and my egg mixture is too thick. So when they go together, that's the beauty of the sauce. If I do this at the stove, I run the risk of scrambling the eggs and we do not want scrambled eggs in here. As soon as it hits the heat, I can smell this hitting me in the face. And now we're going to mix this all together and you can see immediately the creaminess forming, which is a beautiful thing. The egg mixture can be done, the pancetta can be rendered off ahead of time and the fat drained, and then all you have to do is make your pasta and assemble and fold in. A couple nubs of butter, just, uh, just to add a little bit of lusciousness, a little bit more to this dish. Just a pinch of salt and a little bit of olive oil. We're just about ready to plate. I'm gonna pull my scallops out of the oven. They've been in there for a couple minutes now. See the butter bubbling slightly, so I know they're reheated. Still nice and soft, nice and hot, but most of all, you have that beautiful crust and they're golden, golden brown. Half the job with impressing is presentation when you're cooking food. So I'm gonna take some of our beautiful carbonara. Here's another little tip. Take a spoon and go around the edge and you'll be able to pick up some of that cream mixture. We are now going to top this with a bit more cheese. This looks like a carbonara to me when I look at it, okay? 
a little bit more of that black pepper that we reserved. And now we're gonna take our scallops and I'm gonna lay down three right in the middle here. And I'm gonna just add a couple more bits of that pancetta on top. I have a bit of micro basil and micro arugula and that's gonna go on top of the scallops and here we can get some height. There's a lot of fatty and rich ingredients in here so these greens will help kind of break that up a bit. A couple drops of lemon juice and if you so desire I have some pickled chili and if it chooses to fall off it chooses to fall off. Again you don't want this to look too man-made and this to me is a perfect carbonara. All we're missing is a beautiful glass of white wine and I can't wait I always have a fork and a spoon in my pockets. Mmm. I can taste the Parmesan and the pancetta and the black pepper. This is an outstanding dish. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And also, if you have someone you want to impress, write it in the comments and I'll get the video out.